In this technical video, I will show you how the backup and restore works since Awingu 5.3. I will show you how it works with a single note and also with a multi note. So let's start with the uh, single note. So as you can see, if I go to global uh, connectivity, you will see that uh, I have an internal database onto this uh, single note. And I also have uh, configured the uh, database backup user and uh, password. And I also, and that's something I highly recommend, I have enabled the encryption password. So to make sure that if you download the backup file to your local computer, that also all the data is uh, encrypted. And what I also have done is I have enabled the vault backups. The vault backups are mainly important when you're using single sign-on. Uh, this way also the certificates are part of the uh, backup uh, itself. So with these uh, preparations, what I have to do is of course create a backup file. And to do that, I have to go to troubleshoot um, uh, uh, environment uh, backup create. So this is something I can do by just clicking on execute. And if I now wait for just a few seconds, you will see that if I now try uh, to generate a list of all the backups, which I will do right now, uh, you will see that I have a backup file available. And uh, what I now need to do is download the backup file to my uh, local computer. Uh, I, I need to use an SFTP client for that. So I'm going to use uh, FileZilla in uh, my case, logging into the environment with the username and the backup go to the backup folder and I'm downloading the file right now to my uh, local computer. So once this is finished, what I will be able to do is uh, start up a new Awingu appliance. Eh? So this is something which is new since uh, Awingu 5.3. Uh, if I accept the uh, license agreement and go to the next page, this is uh, a new page that you will see. As of 5.3, it is now possible to start from an existing database or from an existing backup file. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select my backup file, which I have just uh, generated. I'm going to upload it to the system and I am have to type in the encryption password so that Awingu can extract again the data which is in the backup file. Uh, this will take just a few seconds before the upload is finished. And then, as you can see, because I have started from an existing backup file, uh, my DNS and NTP server is already uh, pre-filled in. Uh, Awingu is now validating the if it can reach those systems, should be finished again any second now. Uh, I have an internal database, so there are no database uh, settings. And if I click on finish, the installation will uh, start. Um, it's something similar for the multi-node. So uh, I'm also going to show you how that works. So this is a second setup which I have ready. This is a three-node uh, Awingu. So as you can see, I have uh, under service management, I have three nodes. And if I go to connectivity, you will see that I'm going to work with an external uh, PostgreSQL database. Uh, and again, I have done the same preparation. So I have configured the database backup user. Uh, the password has been configured. I have again also enabled the uh, encryption and the vaults are on. Uh, same step. So I have to go to troubleshoot uh, environment backup. And first of all, create a backup file. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Click on execute. Uh, just wait a few seconds until it's finished. And then if I go to lists, uh, you will see that it's ready. I have actually three, but it's the last one which I just generated. That is the backup file uh, which I've just created. Similar like before, eh, I'm going to connect with my uh, FileZilla client with the SFTP to the environment. Going to the backup folder, downloading the file to my local computer. Okay, done. And uh, for this restore, I have again another empty system ready. So this is also something I have pre prepared uh, before. So let's uh, connect to it. Um, oh yeah, something I forgot almost. Uh, I first of all will, of course, stop those three nodes. So it's important that if you do like a, a restore from an existing environment and you're going to reuse the existing database, that you stop the uh, uh, existing uh, nodes that are using that database. So that's what I've just uh, done. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement. Uh, Awingo is validating the minimum requirements. And then similar, like with a single node, I'm going to start from that uh, backup file, which I have just uh, downloaded. Type in the uh, encryption password. Next. Um, as you can see, the um, uh, settings are pre ready or pre-filled in. Same thing will with, with the database settings. So you will see in one second that the database configuration is also already pre-filled in. So that I have my database user, uh, SQL uh, parameters, all the stuff is uh, pre-filled in. And then if I click on next, uh, finish, the uh, installation will uh, start. And I will have uh, at that moment actually uh, a one node Awingu with an external database once this is finished. And then if I want to go again to a three node setup, it's uh, like in one of the other technical videos, 
I just deploy two empty Awingu appliances. I go to the service management, select the second node, select the third node, and then expand again the Awingu appliance to a three node cluster.